Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me for an overview of sales order processing in Acumatica presented by The Answer Company. Let's start by logging into Acumatica. We'll create a new sales order. I'll select a customer for my sales order by using the search functionality, or I can use type ahead functionality as well. Once I add the customer, I can select my add stock item button. The add stock item button allows you to look over your order history for a certain period of time. Perhaps I'd like to look back to February of 2019. When I select that date, Acumatica will show me all of the products that have been sold to that customer over time at what prices we have sold them and what quantities we've sold them at. I can select the items that I'd like to add to the order if I'm interested in doing any cross-selling or upselling. Once done, I'll select add and close. I can also manually add items to the order by selecting add row, choosing the inventory ID, the quantity, etc. As I add my line items to my sales order, you'll notice that for each line, I can see at the bottom of the screen what my on-hand inventory availability is. Under the shipping settings tab, we can shop for rates among common carriers. Acumatica is integrated with multiple carriers, which allow us to get real-time rates for each order, generate tracking numbers for customers, and also produce shipping labels. Acumatica accepts multiple methods of payment, including checks, cash, wire transfers, and credit cards. We'll use a check for today's example. Now that we have the details of the order, we're ready to email it out to the client. We'll go to Actions email sales order or quote. You'll see that the email gets attached to the activities log in the top right corner of the screen, and we can drill in to take a look. Now that the sales order entry is completed, let's navigate to the dashboard of a shipping clerk to continue the workflow. Another user would be responsible for shipping the sales order that we just placed, and we can see how the data flows from the sales rep directly to the dashboard of the shipping clerk. And here is the order that is ready to be fulfilled. From the sales order record, we're ready to say actions create shipment. From the shipment record, everything from the sales order gets automatically populated and we can print our pick list when we are ready to do so. The pick list will be completed with any line items from the order and will also include barcodes in case there is a need for RF scanning. Under the packages tab, we'll see the package that is suggested based on the carrier we selected. And once our order has been picked and the review is complete, we're ready to say actions confirm shipment. The tracking number for this order will now get automatically generated and we can email that off to the client. A shipping label is also generated and the user can now take the shipping label, put it on the outside of the package and ship the package out the door without ever leaving the Acumatica system. The final step in the process is to invoice the order. And while this would typically be executed through the dashboard of an AR clerk, as I'm logged in as an admin today, I can prepare the invoice. On the invoice record, again, everything from the sales order and the shipment gets automatically carried over. So there's no need for any manual data entry. You can review the invoice and make any changes such as discounts or address changes. Then we'll navigate to reports, print invoice, to see the PDF version of what that invoice might look like when we email it out to the client. When we release the invoice, a journal entry gets created and we can drill down into the batch number under the financial details tab. We can now see that the general ledger has been updated in real time, debiting our accounts receivable and crediting our sales revenue and our freight based on the carrier we selected earlier. You can also use the process invoices and memo screen to take some of these actions in bulk, such as releasing invoices, capturing credit card payments, or emailing invoices off to clients. We hope you enjoyed this short presentation on sales order processing in Acumatica. For more information on this or any other Acumatica topic, please contact the answer company.